That is a big if, though, because the Latvian has to get past the world number one, who, however tough his travails have been of late, 58. however rocked he may have been, he is still Michael Van Gerwen, and that makes him one of the toughest propositions on the planet when you're playing this particular 56. sport. It has been a difficult period for MVG. Some say 96. it's a crisis, some disagree. I say it's a crisis. I don't disagree. Matters on his treble 19 team. 133. Michael Van Gerwen hasn't averaged over 100 in any of his last 10 matches. When was the last time that happened? I'm saying that hypothetically because 100. I don't expect it to give me an answer because I reckon it's probably years ago. Probably is. The last match in which he did average in three figures, he ended up losing it to Glenn Durant at the World Series. 170. Matos Rasma is the best treble 19 hitter in the world. You just can't do it, Michael. 99. Can't match him. Matos, you require 140. Rasma has put himself in a, an early position here. To break the MVG throw and pile on the pressure from the off. Ugh, what was that dart? 28. Michael, you require 148. One, followed by 28. Followed by. 100. Just a ton, but Madaz, Rasmar you require should have been in a much better position to break. He can. Get himself out of the hole he dug. Ninety-five. Oh, he like double eighteen as Michael, well. Michael, you require forty-eight. Set up by yet another treble nineteen, but Michael Van Gogh to hold his throw, not without a wobble, not without a scare. But he does Michael hold his Van throw Gerwin. and he takes a one-nil lead. Second leg, Madars to throw first. Game on. Missed opportunity for the Latvian, you have to say. He's had two wild darts in this match already, but the treble 19 hitting is digging himself out. Is this a bit like the, the Mensa Sullivan double 14 or the Rob Cross double 18 of years gone by, where it's it kind of his comfort doesn't go to it all the time? Yeah, it's under pressure or when he really needs it. I mean, look, I, 99. I don't, I, I've talked about this with Paul. We talked about it all last weekend. I don't understand the thought processes from Madas Rasma about 58. when he goes to the treble 19. I think he's better on it than treble 20, although he can obviously hit a lot of treble 20s. But he doesn't go there all the time. Well, this time he has to work out what he needs to do after hitting it. 97. Might be a ploy to just bamboozle Michael Van Gerwen. I'm not sure how much notice the green machine is taking. 100. Not very much, I would imagine. But it is Madas Razmar who is the green machine. 59. You, you mean hit, hitting the green bit, yeah, but as in, he's a machine hitting. Yeah, right, okay. You've worked it out. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Cheers. 140. Madas, you require 113. Well, we've been here before. Ended with a miss at double 18. This time, he could leave double 18 again. So he will. This time, 77. He misses the other side. Michael, you require 107. Michael Van Gerwen will look to make him pay. And his pay, he Michael does, because MVG goes 2-0 up. up. With Madas Rasma first to a double and missing double 18, a double he really likes on both occasions. 57. Ninety-five. 
Because you were there in Sindelfingen last 96. week. 96. Mm -hmm. Michael Van Gogh got to the final, but it wasn't really spectacular for him at any point, was it, in that tournament? At no point. He should have lost or could have 56. lost Vincent van der Voort. It was one of those games which was poor quality and could have gone either way, but he survived match darts in that match. And eventually, 100. I mean, look, 7-1, it says in the scorebook about Michael van Gogh against Mensor Sulevic, but Mensor, particularly in the early first half of that game, was missing a lot of doubles. He was, he was besting MVG in the scoring state. And then it got to the final, and he could not handle Jose de Sousa. He was probably fortunate 56. to get the number of legs that he did. As De Sousa averaged more than 100. Five and Van Gogh once again ended up with an average in the low 90s. 100. And that's been a regular thing over the last couple of weeks. It's been a concerning thing. Yeah, beaten handsomely by De Sousa, having been beaten convincingly. One hundred and eighty. Sam Whitlock at the World War III. Can he take this out? And he won't do. And Madders Rasmussen. He's had two goes at one hundred and thirty. Now he gets to go at one hundred and fourteen. Is he going to end up missing double eighteen for this as well? No, he's going to change his mo. I think. And leave himself double top. Will this be more successful? 94. It could be 3 0 up here, Madison. First to a double every leg. Misses in every single one of them. And Van Gerwen. Sixty-three. Doesn't punish on this occasion. Madas, you require twenty. Well, this is a real opportunity for Rasma to right the wrongs. And Gerwin not best pleased with himself there. Well, that first one, not as awkward as it might have appeared, but the second one certainly has made it difficult. Well, that's the first leg for the Latvian. It's a break of throw as well. Madas Rasma is averaging seven points more than Michael Fourth Van Gerwen, who is currently averaging below 90 again. Game on. Yeah, and when we were talking about that 100 average as a, as a mark, Michael Van Gerwen, that is his mean average. Yeah. It's not like just pulling that figure out of the air and saying that that's what everybody should achieve, but for MVG, that is... Look at all his Pro Tour games over the last few years. 57. He's always either at the top or in second or occasionally third place, and it is always either just over 100 or just below 100 because that is the average level that he plays at. And his average level over recent weeks and months has been nowhere near that. And it's the first time that that's been the case. 134. For years and years and years. It's not the darts. It was never the darts. He's gone back to his old darts. 140. And he's found out himself that it's not the darts. And now he's looking around going, well, what is it? Is it a technical issue? Is it just confidence? It is the measure of the talent of the man that he can still get to finals and can still win tournament oh, during a crisis. He's been winning titles, been you know, winning titles in the autumn series and the summer series, but not with the regularity that you expect of himself. Yeah, and not as emphatically. 57. Those big, big performances, those huge numbers approaching the 100 and teens. <laughs> he is so so incredible a talent that is he saying 100 that, even when he's not his best he can win things i mean it, it, in his 32 european tour titles he's even got a range of them he's about, oh, that's my worst one that's my most dominant one that's <laughs> my best one 90. that's the one where i beat most high ranked players in a row he's got all kinds of different wins well right now in terms of winning on the stage you just take any one well exactly that's it First to a double again, matters. 55. Michael, you require one. First to miss again. Well, it's a 107 punishment earlier on. Looking at Bull. 
And now looking at double top. 68. Maraz, you require 35. Well, he got off to a flyer, but that flyer has let his opponent back in. Can he peg this and peg him back? Games yeah. on the full play. Maraz Asna. Two, two in play. this one with Michael Van Gogh in the world. No, it's unlikely that somebody's going to be under percent on their doubles, but Matters has missed seven. I think he may have some complaints about Matters taking his time, but he's going to have to get used to that because that's the way Matters plays the game. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure. 56. The MVG will be aware that's how he plays the game. He might think he's up to a, a trick or two. You know what? Maybe that works. If, if it gets him fired up, maybe it'll work. Michael Van Gerwen thinks gets a bee in his bonnet. It might spur him on to produce a bit of the old magic. He gave him the look there, didn't he, yeah. Dan? Looked him up and down. 123. He hasn't minded over the last sort of few months, Michael Van Gerwen, about 131. pointing out that, oh, this player's boring or that player's boring or they're not, not exciting to watch or whatever. But the two notable ones that he's done it about, Glenn Durrant and Jose de Sousa, they've picked up some big titles lately. 99. Michael, you require 130. More like it. Much more like it. 114. He didn't like it. But he will be back. Because for once, he has got down to a double first. Eighty-seven. Michael, you require sixteen. Game shot on the fifth leg. Michael Van Gerwen. Well, the Dublin is going all right. Michael Van Gerwen. First. The scoring is certainly not going as well as he would like. But he leads three-two in this one. Fifty-nine. Forty-three. Having seen his opponent go off just 59, Van Gerwen only managing to muster up 43. They're the kind of moments when usually he smells blood. Well, he's had two visits of 140 or more in this match. 77. So six. I know early in leg six, but... 100. Ninety-nine. Well, he's waiting to whistle one pass here of Rasmar here. One hundred and twenty-five. Oh, stance at the hockey before Madars had even collected his darts. Standing very close to him as well there. Thirty-nine. Impatient to get to the hockey. Michael Van Gerwen, perhaps a case for encroachment. 171. Well, Madas Rasma, I'm not sure he's even noticed about that, but he certainly is noticing that Michael Van Gerwen is getting a grip on this game now. One heck of a response from him. Michael, he requires 62. Just a one dart. 42. And he hasn't managed to find the Madders, double. you require 50. Yeah, step back from Rasma. He'll do his own thing. Tops it is then for a level game again. 40. Oh, wow. Head in hands from Madison. Michael, you require he 20. knew that was a big opportunity. Does he think that was the opportunity? Game shot Does the he sixth think leg. Michael Van that Gerwin. was the moment this match Seventh leg, got Michael away from him? First game on. Well, it may have got away from him at that moment, but to be honest, Madison Rasma probably feels he could have been in a commanding position before that.
And it looked like it might have got away from him. Rasma hurled himself back 60. up off the canvas. He's left that awkward 20 for tops. And that is awkward after that dart. He's not even sure which way to go. He decides on left. A 12 dart break. 20. If he hit his doubles, he could have won this game by now. Michael, you Michael require Vanger is 80. getting very concerned with what Madas Razma is doing in this match. But what? that, well, so we got tops, tops, Michael. Now he's made it difficult. Can he produce a trick that his 16. opponent couldn't? He can't. But this is it, Michael Madas Van Gerwen. Normally, Michael, over the years, it doesn't matter what anybody else does because he knows he's the best player. I can take care of this. But he's worried and he's getting annoyed by his opponent because he feels like he's less equipped to take him out on the dartboard. Just ignore him and throw 105 average. Game shot for the second player. And you see it so Game often with Maddow's players when they get annoyed and it's Game less off. about what their opponent's doing. It's about how they feel about their own game. They're tinkering now with the equipment. A bite of a flight. I've seen that somewhere before. Mm. 93. <laughs> Laughable, isn't it, Dan? <laughs> it really is. I'm not sure Michael Van Gogh is laughing 174. Very much. Well, a 174 to add to two 171s and a 177. So he's all built 96. on this incredible prowess on treble 19. In fact, he's had a 180, a 177, a 174, and a 171. He can chuck in a, a 170 finish. He's got the big numbers grand slam. <laughs> 82. Full house. That 150 again. We know what way he's going to go. 100. Maybe we don't actually. He could have 150. Here. We'll see. 56. It's not the worst miss in the world, I suppose. Well, it could have been better, but a lot depends on what Van Gerwen can do here. 128. A couple of trebles. Madas, you require 94. Still leaves him the finish requiring either a couple of trebles or a couple of doubles. If he gets the opportunity. 25. Looks a pretty good guy. But he won't need it because it's double six. 82. Michael, you require 134. Well, this would be very Michael Van Gerwen, but he was looking for 54 and would have left tops tops, I would imagine. 98. In the end, he'll leave double Madaz, 18, but 12. he is relying on Madas Rasma missing, and for most of this game, he's been relying on Madas Rasma missing. Game shot the eighth play. He's obliged Madaz a few Rasma. times, but this time he gets it done. And we are having another close encounter this evening. 96. Every single match tonight going on these ten legs. Yeah, more bang for your buck on the Euro Tour tonight. Fifty-nine. Forty-four. Obviously a limited crowd, but they have been more involved, more vocal in the previous match. But they're kind of gripped by this as well. Mm. 100. I mean, it is a look. I'm a darts fan. I watch darts, and I love watching Michael Van Gogh because he is the most, there has been for a number of years, the most likely person on the planet to do something you've 59. never seen on a dartboard. Like three nine darters in a game, or average world record average. He is... Absolutely mind blowing. And it's not nice to see him struggle relative to his own ridiculous standards. 
but it is intriguing. It is. They're stunned into silence. 59. Michael, you require 150. His turn to attempt the 150. Fifty. And you're quite right, Danny. Can only be judged by his own standards. Of course. Ninety. Don't want to sound Michael, you require critical of the best player in the world, but he's not producing his best stuff. Eighty. I think he's just making strange decisions. I think that's a strange decision. It's almost like he's trying to do something to get himself going. But I just think maybe the best way of getting back to play is it's just doing green machine like stuff just 140 Michael, you've acquired 20. and allow your incredible talent to just build and build confidence can he build on those two markers Change on the ninth leg Michael Van Gogh. it will be a relief Ten for MVG to, to have seen that Game nestle off. in he's not happy with his performance we don't need to hear his interview at the end if he does win to tell us that it is written all over his face. 76. Well, he's going against his own mantra, isn't he? Because he's doing the wrong thing at the right moment. The wrong decisions. There are just spells of poor scoring. It looks like he 95. be made to feel the pressure. Yeah, and it's a, we have seen him do that kind of thing before, but that was born out of confidence. That yeah. was born out of boredom that he was that much better than everybody else. This time, perhaps you are right. Perhaps he is trying to spark something 14. in himself I mean, Madders Rasmer is he's in desperate need of doing something to spark himself because 58 could have already won this game he probably should have already beaten Michael Van Gerwen I mean I do quite like the fact he is making MVG walk around him he doesn't have to play MVG's game didn't really walk around him he almost <laughs> just walked straight through him <laughs> Trying to show who's boss in a different way there. 95. It's getting a little bit of animation out of Madars as well. 135. I just wonder whether the Latvian number one's chance has gone. There were plenty there. 56. But we are still in the 10th leg of this, and Michael Van Gogh has had four visits of 140 or more. That is it. 57. The average could well end up below 90. When he played like this against Mervyn King in Hildesheim, he got done 6-1. 89. Michael, you require 156. But he does leave a finish. And he will get a go at it, but he might well need to take it out. 100. Having missed Madaz, you plenty require of 145 chances, can he produce a party piece finish here to stay alive? The answer is no. 40. Michael, you require well, this 56. This will go down as a huge missed opportunity for Madaz Razma. And it will go down as a let off for MVG. Game but he wins it 6-4 and books Michael his place in the final day of the International Darts Open and he waves it away because he is not a happy man with his own performance. And understandably so, but he will take on Andy Hamilton for a place in the quarterfinals.